Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where we just acquired uh, my son um, and I'm very excited for you all to meet him. <laughs> But I have concerns about waking it. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. I see everyone's enjoying the new paperweight. Concerns? What? We don't know anything about it, Commander. Why, why did I only have the renegade option for that? I'm not saying we take a crowbar to it right now, but I'm not giving up a potential resource. It's your decision, Commander. Just be careful. Noted. The cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with him. <laughs> Jacob's like, I don't care. <laughs> Activate the Krogan. Let's see if I can get some of these. We do have a couple people that use sniper rifles. Ooh. Sure. Oh, blah, 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 blah. oh my gosh, so much. So much. I'm pretty sure I do like this one. Oh, I can't get the cook and vitality because I don't have enough plat up. Ah. Oh, Krogan squad members get plus 25 health. It's only for Krogan, but it's it's fine. It's whatever. I I don't even get meleeed that often. So let's let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Any commander you received a new is it true we have a pod containing a baby Krogan down in the cargo Well, room? not a baby. He's a full-grown super soldier ready for combat. Please be careful if you decide to birth him. Mm. His personality is completely unknown. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Bye. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. A gift of words. Oh, yes, from Shaira. Consort Shaira from the Citadel. I thought my gift of words had been incorrect, an embarrassing notion, but my contacts tell me you yet survive. I am pleased to hear the journey continues, though I sense that you head towards an even deeper darkness. When you fought Saren, only your resolve was tested, but now I fear you cannot rely on only your own strength. Take whatever steps you must to ensure that those battling at your side fight with clear minds and glad hearts. I love that the majority of this game is based around making sure your comrades are happy. Because, like, you're, you, this is a... In very much, in some ways, the entire operation is a bit of a suicide mission. So, like, you want to like wrap things up before everybody gets like flung out into the unknown. Commander, I assume everything's going well up here. It was until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. <laughs> I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Mm. That's it, you both. Shut up. Uh. Oh, what would we do? Eh, I think we'd let him. I think we'd let Joker get away with that. Harmless self promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pow. I win. Joker. Joke. Right, right. No hard feelings. Good game. <laughs> That's it for now. <laughs> See you, Commander. I love Joker. <laughs> Also, I'm not gonna side with the AI against my guy unless I mean if he was doing something that would actually like You know But Joker wouldn't do anything stupid, you know, like he wouldn't do anything that like Harmed like potentially harmed us, you know I am Getting back my, my missile launcher Good old missile launcher What else was the the arc project? Yeah, no, give me my missile launcher. Commander, can I help you with something? Uh, one talk? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. 
A hole? For now, just you. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I should have saved. You sound hesitant, Jacob. Am I putting you on the spot? You're trying to. Sorry if I knee-jerked. Cerberus puts a lot of suspicion in your head. Nope. I like you, Shadow. Oh. So talk, and we'll see how it goes. I think I, I think I picked the wrong one. The one, the middle one seemed more flirty than the upper one. God dang, this thing's a minefield. I don't want to talk to Jacob until I talk to freaking Thane at this point. Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. Mm, I know you and Miranda worked together. I got the impression it might have been more than that. It got a little close. Then it got really far apart. The rest isn't your business, Commander. Mm, consider it dropped. I trust you to keep everything professional, Jacob. Thanks. That always bugged me about the Alliance. They didn't let people handle their own problems. Cerberus isn't any better. They just put more effort into hiding how much they spy on you. Let them watch. We're not hiding anything. Wouldn't matter if we were. It's not like they can reel us in. We're handling this, whether they like it or not. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. I don't know if I did that. Hang on, I gotta save. Oh, hang on, save and uh, <laughs> go back. <laughs> Uh, I think I handled it all right because when he says, like, when Shepard says we have nothing to hide, in the, the way I've done it before, at least the way I've interpreted it, and the way it's, like, been, like, made the most sense, is that it's, like, we as a ship, as a crew, have nothing to hide about how much Cerberus, like, Cerberus does, like, to spy on us. Um, but we have nothing to hide, so. Um, but just in case. Hang on, do I have enough? Oh, yes. I messed that up. It's a good thing I'm reloading. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing I'm reloading. I'll be right back. Your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. Maybe not everyone, Jacob. I want to learn more about you. Anyone else said that, I'd walk away. Most Cerberus people try to play like the elusive man, hiding bullshit behind a smile. But you? I like what I've seen. I'll give you a shot. What do you want to know? See, both of them, both of those options are freaking romantic. And then the renegade one is like, uh, it's, just, it's like romance, but aggressive. Like, oh man, we seem okay with so, taking it away. But you focus on more than the job. No, nope. there's a lot like, riding. Uh, battle no, nope, I'm getting it. Cerberus isn't any better. Let them watch. Anyway, I should get back. I'm real. I don't even know. I, I should have maybe checked it out because those are options I've never taken before. Sorry. It could have been interesting to see, but I'm just trying to get back. Trying to get back to where it was. I certainly hope I haven't accidentally started a romance with him. I don't think so. I don't know why. Usually, like, it's not this hard to avoid it. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, wait. I was gonna... I'm sorry. I'm distracted. I was gonna see if he had any... Commander, can I help you with something? Uh, what do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full yeah. comp. Anything else, Commander? Uh, we've already talked about all that. What about the upgrades? Any thoughts on how they to prepare? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. Right. The collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Heavy ship armor. Let's go ahead and do that. So now we've got... Commander, can I help you with something? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? We've got the best armor available. The rest is outside my expertise, Commander. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We'll talk later. Commander. Commander, bye. 
Uh, I really hope I haven't messed this up. If I have messed this up, I will start everything over. <laughs> I will go back <laughs> as far as I need to. Because there was only one true love for me in Mass Effect 2. And he's not here yet. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Not at the moment. Think I've unlocked collector interest in humans. Wait, no. Only one heart. Krogan have two. Scratch that. Anything else? Mm. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel, okay. always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. What did he... Any ideas on other Sorry, ways? I've done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech now. Okay, so I did his. Okay, perfect. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need. I don't... I think it was... Was it the med bay upgrade? I don't know what it was. So we talked to everybody on this level. Let's go. Poke the Krogan. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profile, but engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> it's like, okay. Oh, jeez. I feel like I shouldn't be able to get this close to it, but it's the heart of my ship, and I'm glad I can. Let's see if Zaid's got anything to say. Back for another lesson. Yeah, yeah, you know. Ever been to a Batarian prison? They don't trust you enough to sell you into slavery. That's why they send you. In there, you got two choices. Bash your head open on the wall, or kill everyone between you and the exit. Jeez. <laughs> hey, wait. Ooh, there you go. I knew this girl once, Asari. Good head on her shoulders. We had this whole thing going, until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the relationship. Yeah, I, I can imagine. <laughs> oh, jeez. She uh, an Asari would. It depends on the Asari, maybe, but an Asari would have a fling with a grizzled human merc who's <laughs> very morally questionable. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Too bad we can't romance Zaid. Watch this. Oh, here we go. And you vent it. And out it goes. I don't know why. I don't know why they let you do this. I have no idea why. I have no, I like having it down here, sure, fine. But letting you <laughs> be able to like take two buttons to vent it into space, it's hilarious. I don't know why they included it, but I love it. It's funny. You don't get to go in there, and eh, not until the next game, and they keep the design essentially the same. Okie dokie, Smokey. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. If you were asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. <sighs> Let's go. Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. That's cool. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. Let's go, my boy! Who 
my son, my zone. So he's just a physically perfect Krogan, who I think Okir tried to implant with like the same mental ideas he had. Look at this boy. Look at him. Hey, what's up? Hi. I'm just a tiny, tiny human. I am a scrawny, tiny human. That would have probably... Human. Female. That would have killed me. Before you die, I need a name. That would have killed me, I'm pretty sure. I'm Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank... Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, Grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. You wouldn't prefer Okir or legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. Hmm, I think I'm gonna see if I can do this middle option. And then go back and pick this. We'll see. Is it that easy for Okir's perfect Krogan to abandon his mission? Okir is just a voice in the tank. If his imprints are true, then he created something stronger than him. So he's not worthy of me. And if his hatreds aren't strong enough to compel me, they've failed too. I feel nothing. I have no connection. Okay. Mm I have a good ship and a strong crew. A strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy. No doubt about that. Hmm. Hmm. That's... acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Mm-hmm. Huh? <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Wise Shepard. If I find a clan, if I find what I... I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. My son! <laughs> my boy! My grunt! The Krogan. Successfully recruit the Krogan. Tee hee hee. We thought we were getting Okir, but nope. We're getting this boy who's been... He's like physically perfect in every way except the genophage. And was like, had this like mantra of stuff going through his mind. But unfortunately, Okir didn't have like a way to like implant... Feeling. All he did was put a bunch of words in his in Grunt's head, but Grunt has his own, like, his own mind, right? It wasn't just, like, drowned out by Okir. So, like, Grunt could just sit there and listen, but be like, I, I have nothing, to, I have no connection to these words that you're telling me, you know? Shepard. Hey, hey, hey. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. Humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. <laughs> what are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. Mm. Did Okir give you any imprints about the Collectors? I see blurry ships, guesswork about strength. Nothing to help pick a weak spot and tear. Okir spent all his time on old hatreds. Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. Squad. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources we found? Mm, might have something I could put together. Don't know how useful it will be. I think it's the Krogan shotgun, yes. Grunt gets a Claymore heavy shotgun. Ooh, but I don't have. I am so low on money, resources. Uh, even with the bonus I got at the beginning. Alas. So I should keep this crap around. <laughs> don't let it pile up. I live down here. Listen, I'm doing my best. 
I can't afford it yet. That's all for now. Shepard. Uh, I want everybody to know that the Krogan is uh, fully awake and operational. And um, I don't think anybody says anything about it. <laughs> but let's go chat with people. Because we didn't chat to some people beforehand. <gasps> this room! I want to get out of here! That's where Thane lives. Hey, got a minute? Do. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. It seems like it'd be lonely, surrounded by people who never knew the ship you both served on. I'd be reaching for the brandy, too. I need to give her- Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. I do need to- Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Give Chakwa's at one point. Usually, maybe, I probably don't, I haven't been going in as much, but usually she says, um, it's nice of you to go visit her. Maybe that's later. Another colony's gone missing. Ferris Fields, I heard. That's not far from New Canton. Did your family get back to Earth? Not yet. My mother-in-law's given us grief. Operative Lawson assures me the transport team will physically drag them away if need be. I don't know, man. I know, like, you know, his wife probably wouldn't want to leave the mother-in-law and all that stuff, but she's putting their lives in danger and the lives of his daughter in danger, so... I don't know. Just take the child, at least. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now? You and me. Let's do it. You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. We're drinking on the job. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Vrolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or hell. Maybe it's you, Shepard, our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Mm, okay, let's toast. Um, so the Joker thing's a little weird. Uh, let's, let's do that. Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. Also, my scars are fading, but there are still some there. Am I gonna be... Ooh. She's just taking a nap. I have a better alcohol tolerance, apparently. Uh, anyway, it's a little... So, so she has that whole thing, right? Where she's like, uh, you know... She's lacking a stability. I don't know. She's like everybody leaves, right? So it's not, and she has a lot of friendships. You know, like she's not like lonely in that sense. But like I think she's unhealthily attached to Joker, and like I don't know. Maybe she's not. But like it always was a little. Like it kind of came out of the blue, at least for me. 
and like they never really talk about it anymore like and it's only like something not something that like comes up later like joker doesn't have this like you know like weird like chalk was is like really attached to me or whatever i don't know but like the fact that like chalk was is kind of following joker around apparently like when i ask her why did she really leave it's because she barely just wanted to follow joker into cerberus it's like, not even about me it's about joker and i'm like that's I don't know like he's a man like he's a grown man like yes he has a disability but he knows how to manage it like you don't have to coddle him like don't like infantilize infantilize him just because he's got a disability you know and I don't think she's necessarily doing that whoa sorry like she's not like treating him like a child but she is treating him like and like yes he will always need medical help but like he also knows how to manage his own disability and it's not like there's plenty of doctors who could like help him out you know what I mean like, I don't know, it just seems weird that she's, like, latched onto him in a semi-unhealthy way. The put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission off. I don't know, it's just a little... I've always felt like that was a little odd. And, like, does Joker know? Like, I, I, I don't know. It's a little weird. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Calamari. Try a bite. Calamari gumbo. She's like, oh, sure, why not? Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me. <laughs> tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. <laughs> oh anyway, thanks again. You really came through. Oh my gosh. A little cannibalistic because they have tentacle heads. Like, no, what are you talking about? Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Dang. Maybe another time. <sighs> Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Okay. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Oh, bye. Do you have anything I can poke? I don't think so. At least she keeps her office separated from her room even a little bit. Whew. Shepard, need me for something? Oh, he's not. Oh, you got a minute? He's not wearing his. Oh, he Can is. I wait for a bit. I'm in the middle of some calibration. I hate. I hate. <laughs> even I don't even romance the man, and it aggravates me <laughs> that he says this. It's a constant meme, and it will never not be funny. But it will also not be like hair tearingly annoying. <laughs> it's like, oh. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? My current upgrades are working pretty well. That's about the best I can do. Meet, 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 everything good. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? The weapons upgrades have gone in beautifully. This thing packs a hell of a punch. It just might give us a chance against the Collectors. Okay, bye. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Some people had some things to say, other people didn't. Um... That should be everybody that I need. We should go feed my fish. We've already done the minefield that is Jacob. Which, it's so disappointing, honestly, that his romance isn't good. Because he is so attractive. Like, I would like to romance Jacob if his romance didn't just end in, like... It's not... doesn't It, it doesn't even end with a bang. It ends with a whimper. It's really, dis, it's really disappointing and unfortunate. Because he's very attractive, and I like the way he talks. Like, the things he says, like, I don't know, when he's like, you know, oh, I'll talk with you, you know, you're not, like, I don't know, he's like, normally I'd walk away, but I like what I see with you. I'm like, oh, oh like, you know, like, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. like, okay, <laughs> you know. But I know how the romance works out. Also, I love uh, fame, but still. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to call this one here. But thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And this is the part of the video where I say thank you to my patrons. So I want to say thank you to my sapling tier patron, Scalamunger. Thank you so much. And to my other sapling tier patron, uh, Rizcalito. Thank you so much. I appreciate you both a lot. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my tree tier patron. And he was the super bestest. Thank you so, so much for your support. And thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.